Hola, you amazing artist. So have you ever done something that while you were doing it, you were like, yeah, I'm cool, this is a good idea. And then later on, you look back and you're like, that was, that was probably not a good idea. Rafi's Rambles, Rafi's Rambles, Rafi's Rambles. It seems to me that at some point during an artist's career, they decide that they want to go bigger. You know, like me, I want to go bigger, like big, giant. You just want to go up in larger scale. Like I, I just wanted my pieces to be gigantic. There's other things that come into play when you're thinking about going larger, whether or not it's going to fit through your studio door. That's one of the things you may have to think about. Ooh, logistics. <laughs> you know, I have my motto and my motto is pretty much just figure it out when you get there. You know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And that sometimes works. Last year, I had the opportunity to create a pretty big piece. It was for one of the businesses in downtown Pensacola. It wasn't a huge piece, but it was bigger than anything that I had worked on up until then. Other than a mural. You don't have to move a mural. Hopefully not. Oh, that would suck. You did a mural and they were like, ooh. That's good, but actually we had you paint that on the wrong wall. <laughs> Could you move it 50 feet that way? No! You move the wall! You move the wall! Either way, I was ecstatic. I, I was super excited. I was giddy like a schoolgirl. I was probably prancing. Manly prancing. You know? Would that be mancing? <laughs> Let's, yeah. see mancing. Let's see some mancing. Let's see some mancing. So I bought the materials I needed, got back to the studio, and cut and stretch out this big giant piece of canvas. Did the whole artist thing of like coming up with the idea and then agonizing, creating, and then agonizing because you think that it looks like crap, and then working through that. And then eventually I created this really awesome octopus piece. And before you go there, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking like, okay, Rafi, so if the piece was too big to leave your studio, why don't you just paint it outside? And that's a good point. Yeah, you got a big piece. Paint it outside, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I didn't paint the piece outside. I painted the piece inside and it was coming together beautifully. And then I got it out of the studio. That's when the whole thing just kind of came crashing down around me. I carried the piece over to my truck, opened the back, and when I went to go put it in, it just didn't fit. My truck betrayed me with its size. Trail implies that it, it made you think it was a different size. I mean, I did honestly think that it was bigger than it actually was, so yeah. And maybe your mind betrayed you. You don't even know what to believe anymore. So, you know that feeling you get when you're forgetting something? When you're like, man, I feel like I'm forgetting something. And then you go through the motions and then you have that moment where you remember what it was that you thought you were forgetting because you're confronted with the conundrum that you now have. And you look at the situation and all you could really think of is like, oh... I remember just standing there, staring at this piece that I'm holding, staring at the back of my truck, staring at the piece, staring at the back of my truck, seeing if there was a way that I could mentally Tetris this gigantic piece of art into a too small space. There was even a point where I was thinking to myself, if only I could bend space and time, there would be a way to warp this thing in there. You know, I mean, they're able to do it in Harry Potter, right? They have these little tiny tents and then you go inside and it's huge. Not a muggle. Muggle. Your mom's a muggle. Mu Damn, I'm going to tell my mom you called her a muggle. And no, don't tell her that. It's on here. Mom, she called you a muggle. Other than running through the streets of Pensacola like an Olympian, waving this painting over my head triumphantly to get it to where it needed to go, I would probably have to call someone with a pickup truck. Of course, that was about the time that I realized that I only had about 15 minutes to get it there. There I am. The clock is ticking. I'm looking at this tiny purse that is the back of my truck, and I don't have time to call anybody. So that's when the words, 
Hey Rafi, you could figure this out. Popped into my head and I saw a little speck of green in the back of my truck. And like a warm lasso of goodness and everything that's right with the world, I pulled on it and there was a bundle of ratchet straps. So I went right to work. I basically ratchet strapped the shit out of that painting. If it wasn't gonna go in the car, it was going to go on the car. I drove really, really slow as if, you know, I had my grandmother ratchet strapped to the roof. Or for that matter, a big giant expensive painting ratchet strapped to the side of my vehicle. But I am happy to say that I got there just in time and the painting arrived intact. Yeah! I got there, took this picture because I was like, yeah, I'm cool. I was like the conquering hero, like, thank you, thank you. Admittedly, nobody that I've told this story to actually thinks that it was a brilliant idea or as brilliant as I thought it was then, which makes me really question whether or not it was as brilliant as I think it was. Apparently, you don't strap big, giant, expensive pieces of art to the outside of a, you know, a weird looking truck and just travel through town with it. So if there's anything that I've learned about this experience is that, you know, a little bit of planning of logistics when you're thinking about a big piece is a good idea. Count on the fact that you will be able to figure it out. No matter what comes your way, you'll be able to figure it out. Call for help if you need it. And you could probably call for help and call the place and tell them that you'll be running a little bit late because I'm sure they wouldn't care. Especially if they know the alternative is that their painting is going to be ratchet strapped to the side of a truck. <laughs> Luckily at this point, people have offered to help in the future because... Uh... How am I going to get this out of the studio? <laughs> yeah. That one's... That one's going to be fun figuring out how to even get it out of the studio. Mm-hmm. So I want to know, have you ever had one of those like duh moments and then figured out a really uncanny, weird solution to get it fixed? Weirder than what a normal person would do because I'd love to hear it. Could you put those in the comments? Thank you so much for watching you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking awesome. I totally adore you. And if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and click over here to subscribe. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adiós.